Okay, so let's take a look at, whoop, these came out right away. Let's take a look at what is going on in the connection right now. All right, so we've got, um, there's going to be a brand new direction in regards to uh, clearing out the energies that are happening right now. So that came out really quick. So this is happening right now. That's probably why there's a lot of transitional energies and feelings and things like that that are happening. So let's take a look at the new direction. Is really dealing a lot with the material world. A lot of karma is currently being received. So what I'm getting here is all of those transitional energies feeling, probably not feeling good or feeling like slagged down or tired or things like that are definitely because there is a return of surgence of energy that's happening consistently. There's a consistent, um, like what I'm seeing is like your energy is clearing completely. So whenever somebody sends something, it's like zinged, like I'm hearing like a zing. Um, in your auric field, like the, you're, you're highly protected in the material world because you've turned your back on certain things. So now it's zing, it goes back immediately to sender is what I'm seeing. So let's take a look at this one. Now there's, um, let's see, I think, I think somebody is in grief here. Okay. Okay, because there was a no that created this, this separation, um, was because of inner child wounding. Okay, I'm just going to, hold on. Sorry, I had to fix that. Sorry, I had to fix that. <laughs> um, was because of inner child wounding unawakened energies and change that was happening in regards to having to refocus now. Okay, wow. There's a lot of energies coming out. Um... <laughs> They're really going through it. That's all I'm gonna say. They're really having a difficult time because their awakened, unawakened state is changing, is changing now because they've been healing this inner child. They've been really focused on self. They've been really going inside. And because of that, they've realized it was their own doing by saying no is what's created the separation. And now they're in a state of grief. You turning your back here and completely moving forward is now bringing in a slew of lessons that are being learned. I think mean, that's the most difficult part here. It's because this person is being forced to refocus. So they have to refocus on the change, the grief, the karma, and why they said no, why their inner child, like it's a deeper inner child wounding that's happening, that they've hit a certain level in their healing process. And this is the brunt of everything now that's currently happening here because mm -hmm. because they turn their back here is what I'm seeing. You can see the inner child's back is here and they're refocusing. Like they just, in the back of the group, there's a lot of like turning away from the truth and because this person continuously turned away, turned away, turned away, not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to know spirit, wanting to live in their comfort zone, not wanting to know the creator, okay, has completely um, now brought in energies that are just, uh, how do I even say, like just immediately manifestation of anything if they put out an intention to try a, a way to get out of it it's like no they're immediately blocked is what i'm getting or 
the lesson comes back like immediately. So it's almost like they have no room anymore to move. They have, it's almost like this person is completely being forced into a place of judgment day is what I'm hearing. It is judgment day now. They're not going to be able to do things how they've been doing them because it's such a, just making room here, guys. It's such a, gosh, uh, immediate reaction from the universe. Yeah. Intense. So let's see how they're purged. They have, to, they're being forced to purge. And this person may or may not want to do, they may not want to do this. A person may not be wanting to do this at this time. Tell me about this purge. I feel that's it. Yeah, see, because the marrying is so intense, all of this toxicity now is being purged. You mirrored back. Yeah, you mirrored back everything that was wrong with this person. All like, this person needed like, your person needed like massive amounts of healing. Like this person basically made a deal with the devil. So, like purging, 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 like just continue, like this person, your person is very sick right now, which is probably why you're feeling so low or not wanting motivated or, a little tired like I don't feel it's attacks I, I believe that if you're feeling fatigue or tired it's completely different now than what you felt in the past like it's not like you have like a massive headache or it's like unsus like it's things aren't blowing up in your world it's more or less like ugh, I just need to take a little nap or something and I feel that you are good like you're not feeling this as much as your person is feeling it um, they're in a heavy purge healing state and we have karmic here as well. So let's see what's going on in this. I feel like there's more. So we're getting a time frame, and I feel it was from this past spring to this summer, if you can recall. Okay. I'm getting a time here from this, from past spring to summer was this purging that started to happen. And it was of the ego. I'm gonna put this up here because I'm running out of room. Because there was a recognition here, okay? There was a recognition of healing that needed to happen and to conclude this story with the third party. So the amount of healing, you guys, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just try and see if I can get all of that on camera. Um, for your reading <laughs> what is going on is they've had there was a massive recognition between this the spring and the summer okay of the ego um everything of the mask and the bondage and the toxicity that was brought from this from karmic energies recognizing that the healing and the conclusion that they just kind of <sighs> everything in the past came up about who their tribe was right of their self-worth why why you know knowing that they wanted to offer something um or you offered something okay let's go into some tarot Let's use the light and dark tarot. We're going to read them up and we're going to clarify a little bit more. So, oops. Yeah. And there's a lot of backs. Like, even the devil's back is here. Even the healing card has its back. Like, everything is, there's no face forwarding. Like, this person was an avoidant energy for a very long time and in the shadow for a very long time. Just basically figured, you know, with this awakening with you, was like, you know what? Maybe this, 
healing stuff isn't for me. I'm just going to go back in a hole. I'm just going to create how I've always created. I'm just going to go back to the life that I wanted to live. All I wanted was, I feel like before they met you, they were like, well, all I needed was some kind of healing. And of course, in Twin Flame Connections, it's like, if they're really in a deep state of needing to be healed, or they asked for their counterpart, or they asked God for something and they got it, well, you can't, <laughs> you asked for it. And that's what I'm hearing. It's like, well, you asked for it. You know, you can't just, you can say no, but it came to you for a reason. So you have to honor things that come to you for a reason. Like you have to honor it. If it's given to you, you ask, you can say what you wish for. You can't just say no to God now. And I think that's what this person is realizing, that they've given up an aspect of their egoic free will here. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. So with you moving in a new direction, and turning your back here. Karmic justice is now being served to this individual. They're in a deep place of sadness, regret. They believe that you have some kind of like witchy power against them. And they don't really want to talk about this. Exactly with the hermit. <laughs> They're pulled away. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to know what's going on. They don't, I don't think this person is going to come in for communication because they're at a point of a slew of lessons that they have to learn because they've only started looking at it from the spring to the summer, but it's it's still going on is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, in order to wake up, okay? It's causing them to wake up, okay? Uh, realize that this connection is a lot more sacred than they first anticipated. Uh, this individual doesn't want to really apologize. They're more heartbroken with that page of cups, that cup over, you know, spilling over. And they're waking up because of their own stubbornness now that you've turned their back on to them. Whatever this person had thrown your way, whether it's magic or other things or whatever it is, whatever they put turned your way, they're now receiving. It's like a zinging sound I'm hearing, like zing. You can't do that to this person, to you anymore. So... Let's talk about, let me see the light side of it. Okay. So they're picking up the cup. I think they've really hit a point of like this awakening process now. They're like, what the hell is this? Like this person's like a damn witch. Here we go, justice. Right on, right. Gosh, they're so slippery. Um, justice, okay. I'm going to take all these. They're a little much, but I am going to take them. So justice is coming. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. The Strength card. The Tower, exactly, okay, in their lessons. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands, okay? So... And we have the sun. So there's definitely a breakthrough that has happened in this energy here. Uh, you know, everything of this relationship, like what I'm looking at this is like the umbrella is not that big. Like it's closed. So it's almost like the sun is now being shone on this connection. What it's really about. There's been a massive awakening of everything with the sun here. Um, and why they've been heartbroken or why they've been not able to come forward. Because I think they're just recognizing who you are to them. And that they have to take responsibility and that it's been such a burden for them because it's been consistently um, trying to hold the strength up, trying to move forward and 
not look at the betrayal of everything and spirit is really pushing this person to really look at the justice that their life isn't going well because everything is falling apart because they're not listening right why aren't they listening why weren't they listening Seven of Pentacles, because they had investments. Wherever they were invested, why weren't they listening? Give me another one on that Seven of This one flipped. Because they were trying to manifest from the Knight of Pentacles. Like it was slow manifestation. But whatever they were invested in, they were working at growing very slowly and manifesting something and putting investments into something. Um, and it was... Was it growing? What was happening with these investments? Trying to... Sp oh, am I reading this wrong? Yeah, but it wasn't growing. It was stuck. Whatever they were... It was a form of manipulation, really. Um, whatever they were investing in, it was stuck. And they thought... And that also catalyzed them, sorry, into recognizing whatever they were growing, whatever they were working on in their life just wasn't moving and it was really slow. It was really slow. And they've had to kind of look at this now and say, okay, why is this so slow moving? Um, and it's when they dove into that aspect in the material world of why it was slow moving is when they started to discover it was because of you. Right? Okay, and because of that, they're realizing that this is karma now. This is the justice of the universe. This is, you know, nothing is affecting you. Okay, it's affecting them. The tables have turned. So let's take a look here. So now they've been doing work on this inner child, which has shown them that they were just completely unawakened this entire time in this entire situation and that them saying no has caused a massive change. Okay, not wanting to hear things. We have the King of Swords in reverse, which is the shadow side. So very narcissistic energy. The Six of Swords, not being able to move forward, everything coming kind of chaotic and moving around like sadness trying to grow things in like the dark <laughs> it's like you need the sun and so that's why they've become aware like everything they're trying to grow in their they have to look at their inner child of why things weren't manifesting why things aren't being created they had to look at how they built things in the past and why they worked then and why they're not working the same way now even with this karmic partner it's like even if they built something before it wasn't growing like where's the momentum and so it showed that they were unawakened because they were actually grieving you they didn't realize even what the what grief even totally felt like i don't think i think this person's been blocked off for a long time they don't even know what grief is and then when that hit them was when they did the inner child work i can hear like uncontrollable sobbing that they couldn't stop and that was their point of change that was their awakening Four of Swords, yeah. See, that was their healing point. Spirit almost had to like stop them. They because they see everything in an analytical mode and everything in like this detailed sense that they couldn't move forward. They were just always up in their head all the time, depressed. They couldn't understand why they weren't feeling. This person has basically become numb. I'm surprised the numb card is not here. And because of that, they've had to learn how to heal and stay still in this and not move forward and tell give me one by them saying no to separate in the kind of separation nine of pentacles they said no could be that you live too far away but they said no to the separation um i felt that you were too independent for them where could the <laughs> so funny it's like you can never win right like you're independent, you're too, or you need me. Like, they need someone to need them. That made them feel very insecure, not being needed in a, an attached physical monetary way or 
somehow in some way you didn't meet this person and it triggered their inner child wounding because they may have gotten attention a certain way maybe because of their money or their looks or a combination of that or how people always come after them and you didn't meet them that way and that triggered them they're like no that's not that doesn't make me attracted to this person and then they they realized they got really triggered so they started to work on themselves and had to refocus on things and then in that instance what happened was they had their breakthrough in their unawakened state that then had their illumination of their depression and that they've been stuck in their head this entire time that they realized that they were changed that meeting you was actually the turning point two ones and they've been going back and forth about this ever since the passion the passion has never left okay king of swords look now they've gained clarity in their mind here it is in the shadow. Now they have clarity in their mind of what this is. Now they want a renewal. Oops, that really wanted to come out. So they've gained their mind back. Okay, they want a renewal. Now they want to come forward. But let's see. Are they? What are they afraid of with this renewal and the clarity that they've received? Now that they have this illumination. What are they, what is the shadow aspect that they're afraid of now that they've gained this illumination? Three of Wands. That it's taken too long. They can't wait anymore. They can't wait anymore. Um, it's revealing their, their shadow. Are you going to still want them in this darkness of what they've portrayed to you? Has it been too long? To come and see you to move this forward to travel to communicate to start something new with the world they don't know this is why they're like yeah mm -hmm. that's why they're like up and down in their head they're like do i go do i not go do i go do i not go so the awakening has happened, but now they're just, they're just not doing anything about it. Like, they're just purging. They have a lot of purging, and the purging, the healing just never, it's almost like this person has been crying nonstop. Like, the person's been crying like, nonstop since the spring. Like, I don't think they've made any headway. And it's not about the karmic partner, okay? Let's see this purge. It's about nothing ever getting started in their life. What are they purging? What have they been purging? Their ego. Like, their ego is so heavy. Yeah. The wheel. The shadow of the wheel. It's not moving anywhere because... Tell me what they're purging. Page of Pentacles. Rejecting this offer from you. Rejecting, not giving it to you. It's It's been so stifled inside that they have not been able to properly be in any form of connection with anybody because it has just been eating them up. Recognizing that they may have acted way too hastily. That they acted way too hasty in moving forward in the past, okay? With the Queen of Wands, with the karmic partner, that there was too hasty of a decision. That they weren't they were careless, is what I'm hearing, right? They were just completely careless. Queen of Swords and blocked you. Just went into some real dark ass mask, literally, into a state of depression immediately with dropping the ball on the Divine Feminine, on you, on the High Priestess. Closed off their intuitive, closed off everything of their sensitive being. So, right from the start, you know, they are purging now. It's taken them months coming with this karmic to come home to themselves. Five of Swords, the shadow, to return to themselves. They really lost themselves with this mask and this conclusion. This conclusion is like Seven of Wands. They had to let their guard down to really look at this mask. Tell me about this mask. Two of Cups. Having to end the relationship and the illusions and end the illusions. 
So they've been completely broken down so that they could heal this entire situation. And this is where they've gained their recognition now. They're still purging. This person is still healing um, the tower, avoiding what they already knew. See, this person already had the recognition. So <laughs> they didn't want to pick up the fifth cup. I almost feel like the karmic may have forced this individual into a state of healing. Because they could feel that this person wasn't over you. And because of that, this person was avoiding it for a while. But when they finally did, recognized um, <laughs> that it has always been you and nothing ever got started. And, and they've been this way since, they, since things ended. So let's take a look here. Let's see how they've been purging because let's see the light side that they're gaining. Um, karma is really hitting them right the hermit they've had to go in to deal with this okay they've had to really look at themselves they're purging let's see what the be for rejecting for rejecting you for not really being honest with people around them five of swords the pain that they've been in pain this entire time guys if you think that this person if you really think that your person wasn't in pain, this person was in pain the entire time. They just kept stuffing it and doing, just got into addictions again and just didn't give a shit about their life at this point. They didn't care about what they were doing. They didn't care. They, oh God, this person's a disaster. They almost felt like, well, I'm such a mess. This, my divine feminine wouldn't want, like you wouldn't want them anyway. So I might as well just die and just like drink and just become addicted and just have sex and just do whatever. But it's like, they can't do this anymore. And so nothing ever got started because they just kept attaching themselves to this devil energy and recognizing um, that they're just waiting around for what? <laughs> waiting around to do for their demise. It's kind of really sad. Um... They really hate themselves, I think. That's what's coming up. They really hate themselves. And if you guys can remember a time that you hated yourself, if you remember a time that you hated yourself in that way, um, they're they're realizing what they what you've gone through in your life. Okay. Two of Pentacles here. Back and forth, trying to balance the end of this relationship and being with somebody else trying to keep starting fresh right trying to let their guard down um ending the illusion tell me about this karmic partner concluding this with their guard being taken down and the things not healing like things are just not healing with this person yeah being stuck with this karmic partner and a hangman putting themselves purposely stuck with this person and trying to move forward with this person created a conclusion. It was all passionate. Tell me they're trying to heal with, with sex. Thinking it was sex that could heal them, but it just created more darkness with the moon. And then in that healing process, they realized they realized that everything was ruined. Yeah, that they were that they had addictions. That they were working with the devil, right? That's why everything ever moved forward. That's why everything just constantly stayed stagnant. Okay. So there's like a massive upheaval that's happening at this time. I feel somebody could be getting thrown out of their home or their home is um, not solid right now. We have the Queen of Cups here. Um, they were too hasty with you. They chose somebody over you. They are now in massive regret. They're really sitting here in a place of like, yeah, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands on top of Queen of Wands. They're sitting here blocked with the Queen of Wands in a commitment that they don't really want. And they're depressed because they just kept pushing this forward. And now they're fighting. And now they're fighting because they're going down the dark hole. Down a hole that I feel that they've been before, maybe with an addiction or another person in their past. Um, it's a repetitive pattern, pattern from way long ago that they said, I'm never going to go there again. And they're doing it. And they're like, they've lost their balance here. So it's like, wow, I'm back in this depressed state because I've cut off my intuition to you. 
to the person that I love. Seven of Cups. Now they are in illusions. Let's see what's come out with that's way too many. Now they're sitting in La La Land, right? They're sitting in trying to look at ways of how to get out of this. They don't know. They're in deep, you guys. This person is like deep, deep, deep in it. Wherever they were, where they were thought they were, they're like even deeper. Something else has come up because they weren't. <sighs> King of Pentacles. Because they have responsibilities. They can't just jet. Now they have resp more responsibilities than they did before. This is where the regret is coming from. If they had just listened and didn't say no at the, at the beginning, then they wouldn't have had this mountain of responsibilities like they do now it's like even worse like they thought it was a lot then it's a lot now they want to be honest and come forward and speak their truth what do they want to say that you're their destiny you are their destiny they want you but you feel like so out of reach in the stars like how do i get from the devil to the star how do i get from the underworld to heaven it's like they feel it's like such a long journey now. Maybe if they just open their heart, you would accept them. Maybe if they just come at you passionately after walking away. Maybe they just need to do it is what they're saying. To transmute their darkness into light. To walk through the portal of light. If this person's really seriously thinking about it. What's going on with their karmic partner then? I think they're getting put out of their house. I keep hearing that they're getting put out. Three of Swords. Okay, so here's the Karmic. Ace of Cups. They have to discuss this with the Karmic. They're about to come clean and tell the Karmic about this love offer. Three of Pentacles. That's when you just kind of took a turn. Um, they've said to the Karmic, like, I'm going to invest. Let me just get another one. What has this masculine said to this Queen of Swords about this Ace of Cups? What have they said that they lied? They're saying I lied to you. What are they saying about lies? I've been patient. Okay, let's just see. I've been settling. I know who I, who they love. They want to compromise their free will okay so they may be in a commitment they're saying i want to talk about this with our commitment and what i really love i want to come in with it with my twin flame what are they compromising yes they're compromising with their karmic that they have free will see they've been numbing i was feeling that they've been numbing this whole time right and they've been stuck um and they're saying this they want this love with the with the divine feminine tell me about this Hmm. Give me a sec. What else are they saying to the karmic? This is really fascinating. So I think they're just coming clean. They want balance. This person is really in the depths of pain. I think that this person ha is having so much pain that it's to the point that everyone can see it. Like it's really bad now. Yeah, they want to balance their soul. They're putting the death to the old. Can we work things out? What are they saying to their karmic? They're being guided. They can't help it. This is how their soul is being guided. They've avoided it before. So what kind, what's happening in their life at this time? There are drastic changes in my life right now. So they're really kind of ending things. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. And they're being honest with people in their life. Yes, they are. They're saying it's the high priestess that they want to be with. Okay, which is here. They're following their intuition. Wow, guys. I think it took this person back into a pattern of addiction of where they were at one. I keep getting that at one point in their life where they were completely self-destruct, just destructing themselves. Where they didn't fully take, I'm feeling over, this is why the karma keeps coming back because they didn't fully learn from that time. They had to learn how to gain their strength and their instincts to follow that intuition, right? And they weren't quite following it. Yeah. 
until it was met with this volatility. Wow. It's from their ancestors are guiding them. They could have a parent that has crossed over or somebody in the other world. An ancestry line that is helping them. That's for some of you. Okay, let's see what they would like to say. Let's get some romance angels. What would this person like to say about their love for the divine feminine? They're getting friends to help them. I'm sorting out my religious beliefs. They may have thought that you guys, you know, I want to create a new love with you. They're getting straight with God now, right? Because remember I said earlier in the reading, they were like, they didn't want to know God. And God's like, I want to know you. So the universe is like, I want to, you are to know me very soon. They're going to be probably reaching out, okay? Um, they want to give this a chance. They're trying to keep an open mind that you're different than other people that they've been with, okay? They know that you could be the one here. They're trying to stay very optimistic. How are they towards the karmic in all of this? How are they towards the karmic energy in all of this? They may have children or they're being childish. They're trying to keep it easy. How are they with the karmic? Learning and forgiving because this is this was an attachment. Okay, can't make it up, guys. All right, let's get some other love messages here. This one obviously needs to come out. Life is forever changing in accordance with nature's divine will. May we lovingly embrace life's changing season in the knowledge that all is as it should be and that all is all there and that love is all there is. Every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Yes, sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust all it is. It, ugh, sorry, trust is all it should be. Oh, I can't speak. Read these are really long. Um, in order for you to heal your relationship with another, you must first heal the relationship you have with yourself. Forgive yourself, accept yourself, and love yourself. I feel that's what this person's been doing since spring. They've been purging a lot up until now, but the brunt of this awakening happened between the spring and the summer. Your spiritual awareness is growing and so too is your sexuality. Sensuality is heightened and this has a magical effect on the one you love. A sacred union is reborn. Love is the present moment. Okay, let's get some messages from the masculine. We'll get some messages from masculine and feminine. Because I haven't done feminine in a while. So let's, let's just see what pops up. We'll take whatever comes up. So take it as it, as it resonates. If it's if it's the feminine energy, it's, um, it's messages from your feminine. If you're masculine watching, if you're feminine watching, the feminine card comes out, then it's how your masculine is feeling your energy at this time, okay? And vice versa. Okay. I know being apart is painful, but please remember when we break, our love will have room to grow. It will heal everything, I promise. Spirit is purifying us for an amazing sacred union. Please dig deep. That's from the masculine. What other messages do we have? Divine feminine message. We are meant to be. Masculine. If I could turn back time, I know I would have done things differently. Please forgive my shortcomings. That came up too, that he was unawakened. Divine Masculine. Yes, the music you hear is me sending you my love. Divine Feminine. I felt a completely different energy with you that I still can't place. You never leave my heart nor my mind. Divine Feminine. This connection is everything I have been wanting. I don't want to push you, yet I don't want to stand still. Either way, it's all feeling very intense for me. So Divine Feminine, you could be feeling this, but you don't want to wait around. You want to move forward and... So yeah, Divine Masculine, our love is has taught me to feel again. Thank you for being you. Divine Masculine, I love you like no other. Divine Feminine, yes, I'm creeping your social media. So Divine Feminine, you could be creeping or you know that if this is you, because I feel this feminine's moved on. It's like the masculine, the masculine knows that the feminine knows that he's creeping. So... Take it, take it as a resonate. 
the masculine here is you're following your flowering heart called to me like a hummingbird but i cannot linger for long can you forgive me and we'll take one more i feel like another one's coming out one more okay i knew there was a feminine one that wanted to come out to my masculine i'm healing my karma please trust that i'm doing the best that i can with what tools i have and divine feminine i'm so upset and can't believe we aren't together i'm so angry sad and frustrated with our connection why did this happen all right that was your reading bye guys